on today's menu an easy and delicious recipe any noodle head can put together. A quick 15 minute noodles. Le Homa, that's how it's going in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from youngmancooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. There's nothing better than a delicious recipe that you can make in absolutely no time. Let's begin. Bring some water to boil for the noodles. Place the dried noodles into a baking dish or a bowl. In this episode, I'm using 100 grams dried knife pear noodles. Pour the hot water onto the noodles. Gently separate the noodles with chopsticks. Let the noodles soak for five to six minutes. Brush off the dirt on the mushrooms with a paper towel. Five cremini mushrooms, thinly sliced. Two pieces of garlic, finely chopped. Chop half a red onion into thick slices. Chop about 80 grams of broccolini into bite-sized pieces. Chop half a red bell pepper into bite-sized pieces. Three sticks of green onion, finely chopped. You can really make this recipe with any type of noodles, but for today's episode, I'm gonna be using one of my absolute favorite noodles of all time. These are Taiwanese knife pear noodles, and they're kind of cut specifically to look really unique like this, almost like little dainty ribbons. It's really quite beautiful. You do have to be a little careful working with these and picking them up because they can break quite easily. But these type of noodles will give that really amazing, satisfying elasticity in that bite. And also because the noodles are quite flat, it will also pick up and retain all that delicious sauce and flavor. These noodles should be pretty easy to find at a Asian supermarket. I'm not sponsored by that brand or anything like that. They're just noodles that I really, really enjoy. I always have them in my pantry and I hope that you'll enjoy them just as much as well. That's why we keep on plugging our own products like the Ramen Cookbook, the Cook with Confidence Cookbook, the Young Man Cooking Merch, and of course our Sushi Masterclass. You can check out all those things in the link in the description box below. Now, let's make that delicious sauce and we're ready to cook. One tablespoon soy sauce. One teaspoon dark soy sauce. Splash of toasted sesame oil. This is a bit of a quick version of a gochujang that I made in the previous episode. Kind of like a Korean style pepper paste. You can also find this in the nation supermarkets or I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can make this quick version easily at home. Mix one tablespoon of gochujang into the sauce. Non-stick pan. Medium heat. This chili oil will give this an incredibly smoky, slightly spicy flavor. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to make this chili oil at home as well. One tablespoon chili oil. Saute for two to three minutes.
red bell peppers, garlic, saute for another two to three minutes. Mushrooms. Saute for one to two minutes. Noodles. Sauce. Saute for another two to three minutes. Green onions. Saute for another minute and it's done. Plate. Sprinkle with white sesame seeds. You can now enjoy this quick noodle dish with absolute confidence. Are you kidding me? Come on, look at those noodles. Man, that is just a explosion of incredible flavor and texture. This noodle dish is just screaming with incredible umami. It has that saltiness from the soy sauce, that dark soy sauce literally coats those noodles with this incredibly beautiful caramel color. The gochujang really kind of melts into that sauce and grabs on to those incredibly delicious knife pair noodles. That toasted sesame oil really just lifts up that sauce and adds that crazy aromatic kind of sesame flavor. You get a little spicy heat from the gochujang as well as that chili oil, but the chili oil adds an extraordinary delicious smoky flavor. You get that crunchy bite from the broccolini, the red bell pepper, and those red onions but they add a little kind of juicy freshness, a little acidity. The red bell pepper adds a little bit of that kind of sweetness as well. Those mushrooms are just so delicious and adds this kind of umami earthy depth to this dish. The green onions add that freshness and it's just sauteed into this noodle dish. I mean, visually this dish is just so casual, so rustic, yet so beautiful with these different colors of that green, the red, the purple, with that earthy, lush, kind of deep, dark caramel color. These delightful, flat noodles really absorb all of that incredible sauce and just literally changes color from absorbing all of that sauce. And yet it still retains that kind of elasticity and that bite. It really is a delightful experience. Not only is this dish incredibly delicious, but man, it really did not take any time at all to make this from start to finish. Like I always say, it's simple, delicious, quick, uncomplicated, easy recipes like this that makes it so exciting to cook at home. And if you love easy and delicious recipes like me, then definitely check out the ramen cookbook, the Cook with Confidence cookbook, the Young Men Cooking merch, as well as our plant-based sushi masterclass. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check all those things out. And as always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.